okay guys so in this video guys we are going to do a node which is under a cash flow statement so we call it cash generated from operation so before you start with your cash flow statement this is the first note that you need to do okay so when we prepare uh, this note guys the reason is because remember under income statement we have a net profit so that net profit contain amount like we subtracted depreciation we subtracted bad debt interest and many other expenses that we call them non-cash item and remember when we prepare a cash flow statement we only deal with what only cash we only deal with cash so that's the reason why we prepare cash generated from operation because we must first adjust and add back those depreciation because we subtract them when we do what income statement now we have to add them back so that we can get at least a profit which is cash okay now let's start with a question paper so 4.2.1 they said that uh, prepare or complete the notes for cash generated from operation that's what we are going to do okay let's start with the first part this is the format that you need to know profit before tax <laughs> let's check in case in this case if you check our income statement we are only given a net profit after tax okay remember they said before tax which means that we have to take after tax of 980 and add back tax so that we can get what before tax for twenty thousand. okay then we go, we're gonna get profit before tax okay then amount will be 1.4 million that's where we we start okay now we need to adjust items like depreciation and expense interest expense we adjust them because remember interest paid we calculate it separate when we do what a cash flow so we have to add it back here because it was subtracted under what income statement okay let's check our depreciation amount is 390 thousand because it was subtracted we add it back but if it's interest um, like if it's an income we have to do what to subtract because it was added okay in other words we are doing what a reversal interest expense we have to add it back which is four fifty two thousand okay then after that you're gonna get what we call it net profit before working capital in this case if you add all of them you're gonna get amount of two million two hundred and forty two thousand okay now we are going to what we call net change in working capital which contain inventory receivable and payable okay so in this question paper guys uh, inventory it was not there but it was given under uh, answer book it was given like this okay now we're going to start with change in receivable change in receivable we have to check the note trade in other receivable they said note number one however you have to exclude everything that is contained SARS or that is contained tax because we are going to do it separate we have taxation paid when we go to cash flow statement which means that we have to ignore it here because we are going to calculate other side if we calculate it here we are going to do a double or duplication okay now let's take the notes number one trade trade and other receivable we have data control source income tax accrued income which means that source income tax we exclude it accrued income we can include it okay then which means that for the amount of 2019 we're gonna have amount of three because we are going to exclude 69,300 we're gonna have 332,200 then when it comes to 2020 the one that we are going to use to compare with which means that we need to take only 292 and 13,400 which means that we are going to take amount of three or five eight hundred okay now if we subtract these two 
we are going to get 26,000. But we need to know whether it's outflow or inflow because it's going to change. Okay, if you check the amount of 2019, it has decreased. If it has decreased, which means that our debt has, has paid. In other words, which means that there is some money that we have received, which means that it's going to be inflow, which means that there is no bracket that we need to include. Okay, now let's go to change in payable. Okay, if you check in payables, we also have SARS income tax. Okay, let's check for 2019. We have amount of 963,000 and we also have shareholders for dividends. Shareholders for dividends, we are not going to include it because we calculate a taxation paid when we go to our cash flow statement. So, which means that we are going to ignore this one. Okay, we open the brackets and said amount of 963,000 okay then we also have a SARS income tax 2020 when we are we are going to ignore it and only take amount of 621,000 okay in this case it's also decreased in other words we have paid our creditors which means that it's going to be outflow of 342,000. Because we paid our creditors, we take our money from our bank and pay our creditors, which means that it's going to be outflow in this case. Okay, then after that, you need to calculate uh, from here and the total that you got between these three. Okay, if you calculate these three, you are going to get a negative one million two hundred and eighty and seven hundred okay you take these two then you're gonna get amount of positive one million and eleven thousand three hundred that's how you prepare case generated from operation notes so we are going to do 4.2.2 as well in this uh, video however we also have income tax paid, dividends paid, proceed from fixed assets. We are going to do it on the other video. Okay, now uh, we are going to calculate proceed from share issued, repurchase of share, long term loan received. Okay, but before we continue guys, please make sure that you have subscribed so that you will be able to see all the videos that I uploaded because I know that some people they just come here and watch video and if you just come here without subscribing guys some of the video we set them in a way that you won't be able to see them but immediately when you subscribe you are going to see the other videos that is you didn't know that they were already uploaded in this channel okay now let's proceed with the if uh, effect of financing activity okay under financing activity as i said the first one we are going to start with proceed from share issued okay let's read the transaction transaction number e they said that uh, authorized share capital 2.5 million on one march 60 percent were issued one june 2019 397 were received from 50,000 additional share Okay, and another one, uh, we have a 36 list of repurchase, but we need to start with share issued, the one that we receive. Okay, they already give us amount, and they said it's amount of 397,500. Okay, then we need to do a repurchase of share. Repurchase of share, they said that uh, they repurchased 360,000 share were repurchased at 162,000 above the average. 162,000 guys is not the one that we paid but this is the above amount. 200. We need to add it with what? Remember this is the one that we record under retain 
income when we are preparing ordinary say capital and written income now we are looking for what the one that we record under ordinary share capital okay so in this case they said they repurchased 360,000 share by 795 which means that you need to say 360,000 Napla by seven rand ninety five. Okay, then you gonna get amount of two million and eighty eight hundred and sixty two thousand. Then if you add them together, you are going to get amount of three million and twenty four. Thousand. This is going to be outflow because we repurchased it, which means that in other words we have paid so that we can get our share back. Okay, then long term loan we just compare the amount of last year and this year. So for last year we have three million and eighty thousand, and this year we have three million eight hundred, which means that we went to the bank and borrow again, which means that is income. Okay, uh, three million eight hundred and fifty thousand. Minus three and eighty thousand, then you will get amount of seven hundred and seventy thousand, which is positive. If you add all of this, you're gonna get one million eight hundred and fifty six thousand five hundred. Okay, this one, of course, you are going to subtract, then you will get it as negative, it's an outflow. That's how you should do uh, this part of change uh, or effect from financing activity. I hope you already like it guys and you already subscribe. Comment, what do you think? Is it difficult to prepare cash generated from operation? Because on this one, I think it's easy because you don't need to read a lot of transaction. But most of the amount, you just take them from income statement and balance it. I'm going to see you on the next one.